What is going on everyone? It's RJ from Backyard Sprouts and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to grow spicy salad microgreens from start to finish. All the way from planting it to packaging it to labeling it and getting it ready to be shipped and ready to go. I hope you guys are ready. This is our first edition of Crop Focus where we focus in on one specific microgreen from start to finish and give it love from start to finish. Hope you guys are ready. This was filmed in a span of days. So hope you guys buckle up. Hope you guys enjoyed. And it is all coming up next. So the first step is obviously planting the spicy salad microgreens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get some of these trays. And I'm gonna be planting four trays of spicy salad mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab four trays. I'm gonna change the camera angle for a little bit, but I'll grab the trays. I'll grab some of the seed from my bins here. I'll add some soil. And then we'll add some water. And then we'll spread the seed over, then we'll mist it with our awesome mist. All right, so let me put you guys, let me set you guys down over here. So obviously what's happening here is I'm just taking a <laughs> the claw <laughs> uh, and breaking up, pretty much we're breaking up the soil. Obviously we don't want any clumps in here. We want it nice and, and loose. Uh, Alex and I, we use just natural organic soil. Um, it's actually this brand right here, Harvest Organics Potting Mix for vegetables and herbs. So, break this down. See these clumps right here? I'm gonna break that up. Next up is just watering it. It's gonna be tough with one hand, so just bear with me. Next up is our spicy salad mix. So I'm just gonna take a cup here, scoop this. Go over here. And we will just spread them out. Try and spread them out as evenly as you guys can. Now in the very beginning, I apologize, my hand's in the way there. It's tough with one hand, guys. Uh, in the beginning, Alex and I did this exactly to the T. We would measure out our grains and ounces and make sure that um, we had the ounces to T. But, you know, after you've done several hundreds of these, you actually, believe it or not, learn to eyeball what they look like, what the proper density is. And so, you know, there's different ways of spreading the, the seed here. Some people just do it by hand. Alex does it by hand. I just use this little, I got pretty good at this. <laughs> My own little salt shaker. And you'll see areas that need a little extra love, but other than that, you can eyeball. You'll learn to eyeball, guys, what looks good. So 
Don't worry about it too much in the beginning if you if you need to stick to a number. Let's say um, spicy salad mix, I believe, was about two to three ounces. I'd have to double check that. So in the beginning, if you guys need to stick to that number, stick to that number until you get pretty good where you can eyeball and ballpark uh, the, the density, the seed density here. Last but not least, I get my little Chapin Home and Garden spritzer here. Just pump it about five times. It's good to go. Let's get the right MySpace angles. There you go. Give this a nice soak. And the last part is just stacking them. So we'll stack them one over another. I don't do more than four, four maximum stacks. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in the blackout phase. So onto the blackout phase, you wanna stack them. So here are four trays of spicy salad mix. I'll take an empty tray here and put it right on top. And I'll take two bricks and I'll just kind of angle them. So it's covering up a lot of area here. There you go. Easy peasy. And the blackout phase, you guys, it just varies how long it stays in the blackout phase, varies on two things. One, the microgreen itself, how long it needs to stay in the blackout phase. And two, the temperature of the environment. Alex and I have noticed that temperature fluctuations drastically mess with how long these guys stay in the blackout phase and how long they actually take to germinate and stuff like that. So. It's a key factor, that's why I always have this room set to 75, no lower than 70. Uh, and then uh, I've, I found out that that's a solid temperature for these guys to grow, all right? So next up, you know, um, we'll probably fast forward a few days and we'll, we'll, you'll see that I'll start to unstack some of these and you'll see after a few days that it's gonna to start to push the trays upwards and then we'll unstack them and then on to the next phase. All right, you guys, so we are here now ready to unstack the spicy salad mix. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you guys, you can almost see that it's starting to peek out. And that's when you know it's ready to go is when they start to peek out from the sides. And you can see that these guys are literally bench pressing this thing. It's awesome. It's pushing the whole tray up. So it's time to unstack. So all you do is you just take out the weights. Take out the top tray. There they are, ready to go. So I'm just gonna unstack them, put their pl uh, put the micros in their rightful place. I'll probably put it in the bottom because I'm not tall. It's hard for me to water from up there. Fun size problems. And there you have it. Unstacked spicy salad microgreens. This took about, I wanna say three to four days in the blackout phase. After three to four days, you'll see them start to creep up from the side. It's ready to go. It's ready to get unstacked. So from here on out, you're pretty much gonna water them twice a day. And I'll show you guys, you know, how to water them. I just go in a zigzag formation. But the importance of 
the watering phase until pretty much it's ready to get harvested is watering them twice a day. It is very, very, very important. And I'm gonna always emphasize this every single time is you have to water twice a day. So I do it in the morning and once in the evening, once in the morning, once in the evening, because if you don't, the micros start to get super weak and they topple over like this. Um, and that's not what you want, right? So always, always water twice a day. Okay, watering your microgreens, your spicy salad, super easy. All you need is a little canteen or however you choose to water them. Now it is important to water these twice a day. Do not let them go without watering twice a day. So what I do is once in the morning and then once in the evening. So this is actually late in the evening, but look at what happens when you start to neglect them. They start to topple over, okay? That's fine, they'll, get, they'll revive once you water them, but that's literally what happens to all of them. So take your canister and I just go in a zigzag formation here, back and forth. Again, apologize for the MySpace angles. Doing this with one hand. I'm doing the best I can, guys. And that's it. That's how you water your spicy salad microgreens. Remember, always do them twice a day and they'll get super strong. These are actually about getting ready to go, harvested. Um, these are about three inches high already, so I'll probably give them about another day then I'll go ahead and get them ready to be chopped chopped. All right, so now that you guys have seen me do two boxes, I'll kind of walk you through really quick what's going on here. And as you can tell, right, when I go and grab the micros here, my knife is just doing this cutting work, right? And I can cut them, it just comes right off. I don't need to yank the micros, I don't need to pull them, okay? Next important pro tip from Backyard Sprouts is when you're packaging the micros, try and keep them standing up. Uh, this is one of those things that Alex and I learned quickly throughout the process is when we just shove the micros in here, they get intertangled and intertwined so easily that you don't want chefs and, and uh, people in the restaurant industry working with something like that where they have to take each strand of micro that's intertwined with each other and pull them in order to garnish a dish, right? So you wanna keep them nice and neat for the restaurants and chefs. But see, I'm just kind of just doing this little stroke method here and it just cuts the micros right off. So that's why I emphasize the importance of a really, really sharp knife when you're doing this method. You know, you have to be careful because obviously your fingers is, is danger close here. So you'll learn, you'll learn the method. Uh, just go nice and slow. 
when you're first doing it, then you'll start to pick up some speed and go, you know, it'll be a little more efficient than the first time you do it. But I also wanted to emphasize that it is very important when you guys are packaging the micros beforehand, when you start working with them, always wash your hands, right? My hands are always super dry because of the amount of times I've washed them because we're obviously dealing with food and people are trusting us with their product and people are touching, trusting us with the food that we're supplying for them. So always, always wash your hands, always make sure they're clean. I personally don't like using gloves because I feel like I don't have as, as much control. So it's just my duty and it's my responsibility to always wash my hands and keep them clean, okay? So those are some pro tips right there. Um, I'll go ahead and finish this tray off right here for you guys and then we'll call it. Obviously the next step after this is labeling them and we'll, we'll do that next. So next up, after we've harvested and packaged the micros, we're now getting them ready to be delivered. So the final touch is adding the labels. And so you guys are about to see my super secret uh, setup here. This is a dual monitor PC rig that I built. That's not on, it glows blue, it's very sexy. And then that behind me is my media station. That's where I do all of my video editing and photo uh, enhancements. Uh, I use Af Affinity, which is super cool. So, yeah, let's take you guys in here and you'll see my process. Process is fairly simple. We just go up here to print and then we are doing 10 copies and hit enter. And this thing will spit out 10 of them. Cool, right? So we've pretty much shown you how to plant the spicy salad mix. We showed you what it looks like when it's time to unstack them. We showed you the watering. You no, know, make sure you water it twice a day. Uh, and then within a few days when it's ready to get harvested, you harvest them, use a super sharp knife, package them. And then last but not least, it's time to slap on some labels on these micros so today we got about we're getting 10 of these ready got a whole bunch of 10 mm -hmm. good stuff once we have let's clear some of this out <laughs> all right let's take this one we printed out the labels, they are ready to go. Right, so you'll take a box or a container, peel, and then this guys, I've yelled at myself and Alex at this because remember, we don't, you know, especially those of you that are looking to start off, you don't have a team for quality assurance out there making sure that everything looks good. We are, as entrepreneurs, we wear all sorts of hats. So we are our own quality assurance team. So we have to make sure that this is aligned and it looks good. Okay. There you go. A finished spicy salad microgreen ready to go. And remember, see how it looks like, see how gorgeous it looks like with the leaves all sticking up, it's all unified. Before, I'm almost ashamed to tell you guys this, but before Alex and I got super legit, we would pack the micros and we would just jumble them. It would almost look like this. So when the chef went and opened up the box, you know, for farmer's markets, they really don't care much because they just use it to uh, put it on sandwiches and stuff like that. But for chefs, it's important because you don't want them opening the box and they have to untangle the micros themselves, right? You want them looking like that. Easy for them to pick up, garnish, do whatever, just make their jobs and their lives easier, okay? So that's pretty much it. That is how you grow a spicy salad mix from start to finish. That's super gorgeous. Let's do another one really quick. 
the label. Put it on top. Oh! Freaked out a little bit, just dropped and it's stuck on. All right, I'm in this weird angle. I don't wanna like stand up and hover it, but here you go. Two spicy salads, ready to go. Eight more left to package. And that is it. This is a product that um, all of our products that we grow for everyone here in Charlotte, whether it's chefs, whether it's farmers markets, this is something that we can be proud of. This is organically grown. This is 100% local, sustainable. The containers are 100% 100% compostable and they look super good. They look super pretty. And not to toot our own horn, no one likes a bragger, but when you get enough consistent feedback from different restaurants and different chefs that our product is superior, that's something that we love to show off. That is something that we love to share with people because they're saying that our micros last weeks. That's not an exaggeration, weeks. And we're not doing anything special to them. The only reason we, we can take a guess as to why others uh, micros don't last as long is when you get big enough and hopefully you know Alex and I this is something that we pride ourselves in is when you get big enough like a bigger farm you know they don't have time to do grow to order Alex and I are strictly grow to order that is what we pride ourselves on but these other farms they're too big right so all they do is they just mass grow mass plant and mass harvest and then what they do is they shove all the product in the cooler waiting for orders to get filled. Oh, okay, we have two orders of this, let's ship them out. Three orders of this, let's ship them out. So who knows how long they stay in that fridge for? That's just our assumption because there's no way that our micros last weeks longer than others when we're not doing anything special. We're not, we're not giving these guys the water, uh, fountain of youth water, right? It, it, they just normally grown organic soil. That's it. So... Hopefully you guys found that useful. This was a, a video from start to finish. It is obviously just a the biggest crash course there is, uh, but that's all you really need to know. Growing the micros, right? So when I showed you guys how to plant them, I showed you guys how to, well, after a few days, you just unstack them from blackout. Then you water them twice a day. It has to be twice a day. So I do once in the morning, once in the evening. If not, they will, the soil will dry up and these micros will start to topple over and they look weak. Okay, so make sure you water them twice a day. When you go to harvest the micros, make sure that you're using a super sharp knife if you're gonna use this method and make sure that you're cutting in an angle downward so you can get as close to the soil as possible but not including the soil because you don't want whatever's on top of that soil, you want just the micros themselves. And then once you've done that, you've packaged them, you've gotten your correct ounces, then you just print the label, slap the label on there, and you're left with a gorgeous product that looks like that. Okay? And the, these, are, these are something that Alex and I are proud of. These products, every single time we deliver to executive chefs of high-end restaurants here in Charlotte, they tell us that our product is superior and that is something that we love to hear and we love getting you never get tired of hearing stuff like that all right so if you guys have any other questions just obviously post them in the comment section below again this is the spicy salad mix this comes from true leaf we hope you guys enjoyed that video this is how you grow spicy salad microgreens from start to finish <sighs> It was a journey. It was a journey to get here. But you guys already know the spiel, right? We are trying to build a community here at Backer Sprouts of like minds. So we absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure. We're trying to create a repository here of like minds for urban farming, for microgreens, for entrepreneurial ship. Is that even a word? Uh, so we, you know, posting comments, liking us, 
subscribing to us, all this means the world to us and it helps the channel substantially and it helps the YouTube algorithm promote our videos. So we love it. We love you guys. Uh, we've been loving getting the comments starting off this 2020 year. So keep them coming. If there's any videos you guys want to see, just let us know. Other than that, we will catch you guys 